So we did a video on best Chrome extensions for Netflix a while ago and you guys seem to love it. So here are some more fresh new ones that are replacing or, you know, just new ones for the sake of it because the old ones are dying and outdated by now. So I'm Vamp from Smart Dance Proxy and here are some of the best new Chrome extensions for Netflix. So similar to Rateflix, which shows you the IMDb rating on Netflix, Trim also shows you the Rotten Tomatoes rating on your Netflix TV shows and movies. That way you can you know, compare both of them and then see which one's better. But considering Trim is the newest one, that's the only difference we could find. So here's how it works. Once you install the extension, the ratings will appear on top of the thumbnails. You can also tap on the ratings and view the detailed review on IMDb or even Rotten Tomatoes. Another cool thing is that it also works on Amazon Prime videos. The only drawback is that it really doesn't support episode-wide ratings like Rateflex does. So the next one is quite simple actually. All it does is skip the outros and intros automatically. All you have to do is, you know, install the extension and it does the intros and outros for you. So you don't have to go click that button if you're that lazy. So just install the extension and then tap on it to make sure both options are selected and then refresh your Netflix page. Now, if you're watching Breaking Bad and there's an intro, the extension will automatically tap on the skip intro button and then resume playback after the intro is done. It does the same thing for outros as well. So if you're curious on how much time you spend on each and every Netflix show or specific in a movie or a TV show, this extension does the exact same thing, but more in depth and gives you a long essay about it. For example, once you install the extension, you can view information like say, you know, time spent on movies and TV shows, average time per day that you use, for example, in my case, I watch like an hour or two on weekends, but on Sundays I watch more than four hours, like the titles watched, devices used, and much more. You can scroll through and find the detailed lists of, you know, your viewing activity. So for example, I watch Blacklist on Sunday on TV around 5pm. This way, if you've got, you know, kids or teenagers in your house who claim to do their homework, but end up watching Netflix, you will know for sure. So Cena is another Chrome extension that lets you share your Netflix while watching it. But the cool thing and the highlight for me is that you can actually video chat while you're video sharing Netflix and watching it with others. How cool is that? The sharing is pretty simple. Anyone you can create a virtual theater and then upon sharing the code, the rest of you can join them with the stream. Only the owner of the theater can pause and play the stream. However, you have the option to pass on the remote to someone else in the stream just in case. Also do keep in mind, all participants need to have their own Netflix account or you need an account with multiple devices support. Alternatively, you can also check out Stream Party, which also lets you, you know, watch Netflix together with other people, but only text chat. You can't actually talk to the other person. And if you're on smartphone, I'd recommend that you get the Rave app. It's the exact same thing, but for Android and iPhone. So if you want to learn a new language, which is, you know, once in a blue moon when you feel like it, you know, the Dilongo app's not working or you just suddenly had an inspiration, this extension does the job for you. What this extension does is allow a user to choose a second language in addition to the primary subtitle language. For example, say if you want to learn Spanish or Afrikaans or French or whatever you want, say, you know, you turn on Money Heist and some movies in regional language, this way you can follow subtitles in two languages, helping you understand another language and understand the pronunciation of each word by taking advantage of the language you already know. So if you tend to rewatch episodes or a whole show altogether every couple of weeks like I do, because the office is so addictive and I've seen it so many times, but it's still fresh to me, here's an extension that does you know, really cool things with it. So once you've downloaded that, it adds a shuffle sign onto the playback bar at the bottom right corner of the Netflix screen. So if you have a half a dozen seasons and no specific episode in mind, just relax and hit the shuffle icon. That way, it'll do the work for you. Well, that's pretty much it. Another cool tip for Netflix is that if you want to watch a show and it's not on your catalog, here's a video that explains you exactly what to do in three simple steps. As always, I'm Vamzi. Thanks for watching. And if you're new here, click on that subscribe button. That way you get notified every time we put out a new video because we put out a new video every other week and it takes two to three days to make a video. 
So you better subscribe, that way you get notified for all that hard work I'm doing for you. See ya.